six years ago, I decided to leave Thailand and return to England. But someone asked me as a favour to come up here and do some files on the children, just to prepare some records. Six years later, I'm still here. And that's how I came to be a full-time volunteer. Two years after the tsunami, we completed our first building, which is here. This was built for 20 children. Two years later, we had our second building. And at that point, we had 47 children living in the one building. Today, we have 80 children. Very few of them are tsunami children. We are victims of our own success and now have children who weren't even born at the time of the tsunami. This is Tiger, who's lived with us for 12 months. He was a very sick little boy when he came to live here. He'd been physically abused, but now he's a wonderful, loving little boy. Say hello, Tiger. Hello. Hello. Do you like going to school by Rong Rian? No? no, OK. <laughs> These are just a few of our children. They're all wonderful, happy children. Look at the faces around here. And they all look very happy. And they're all hoping. They all have a dream for the future. Some of them are going to be very bright. Some of them perhaps not so. But they all want you to see them and to help them and to help them as you've been helping for so long. Some of the children will be here with us for the next 15 years needing education. This little girl was top of her class this year. She's just finished her first year of primary, but she got top marks in every subject. We have to think about this little girl in the next 15, 20 years. <laughs> Projects like this are important on so many levels. We use these vegetables in our kitchen. We feed the children. What we have spare, we can take to the market. We can raise income for ourselves. We can teach the children about growing, feeding themselves, about working to help themselves and working to help others. Every weekend the children do projects like this. This is such a fantastic project. We're putting lots and lots of food into our own kitchen. We're also taking fresh, clean, organic vegetables down to market to sell. Our desire at the moment is to double this project inside. Who's ready to cook lunch today? Oh, thank you, Preg. And they're going to cook them, and then they'll stir fry them, and we'll eat them at lunch. When Tong Kao first came to live with us, she weighed 10 kilos. She was massively underweight. Nowadays, we have to make sure that she eats really well so that we can try to put some weight onto her. We have washing machines, but with 80 children, the washing machines would take far too long. So the older children learn to do their washing by hand, another skill that they'll never lose when they're older. Carrot. We use play to teach the children all sorts of things. We can teach them words in English about vegetables. We can teach them to count. What is this? It's a lemon. Anything is possible with toys like this. Thank you, Captain. <laughs> Jeng is one of our older girls. And Jeng's lived with us for six years now. You're learning vocabulary. Yeah, because so. uh, Monday. XM Chinese. In Ye Yuan. Uh. Zheng is actually translating from Chinese through Thai into English. But she also loves football. She likes to do a Muay Thai, which is Thai boxing, Thai kickboxing. And she can beat most of the boys at boxing, can't you? Yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> this is Ton Nam. Some of you may have seen a very early film about our home. And if you did, you saw Ton Nam as a baby. This boy give his name Ton Nam. The mother called me since before he born. And she told me that I don't want this, this baby. And she, she bring to after born. born. <laughs> Now, he's a very big boy. How old are you, Ton Nam? Six years old. He loves going to school and he says he's very smart and he's always a good boy. Say hello. Hello. Nam Tip has lived with us almost from the beginning. And she's the perfect example of what good sponsorship can do. Where have you been for two years? United States of America. Namtip is doing her high school in the States. Now she's only home for a holiday because you're going to go back there, aren't you? Yes. For how long? For one more year of high school and four more years of college. Even though I'm there and I'm happy and I'm enjoying my life there, but I still miss here. I still know who I am and want to come back at Bantanam Jai and work here and live here. We want to bring the children up and we want to bring the children up well. We want to teach them. We want to give them life values. And we want to make them people we can be proud of in the future. This is where we need everyone's help. Today, we have 80 children. I'm not sure where our limit is. I don't know what will happen in the future. All we hope is that we can continue to look after and love and educate these children.